the energy vibration reading for the Leo Sun Moon and Rising sign it is the fourth week of October 2018 and the Wheel of Fortune is here really positive energies and um, the week begins from the 22nd until the 28th um, there is a situation in this week um, where positive energies comes in the energy vibration change for some um, on Wednesday to the water energy and the zodiac energy is Monday and Tuesday let's see what's coming up for um, the Leo's the Leo's you have the energy of the king of wands and so you men 40 years and older this week is going to affect you um, you Leo's 40 years and older we have the energy of the king of Pentacles so the, the knight of Wands. so the man between the ages of 25 and 45 you're dealing with a conflicting situation with the knight of Pentacles so whoever you Leo's are um, um, the situation that um, comes up is temperance okay um, so um, yeah um, this situation can a situation that has to do with a business partner and this person is um, an, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and then you have uh, the lady who is also a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so if your parents or Taurus Virgo and Capricorn you have to deal with them in this week okay so if both your parents is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you have to deal with them in this week let's see what else is happening um, some of you have a regrets over the Queen of Pentacles whoever you are um, um, you could be having a regrets maybe that uh, um, you um, let a situation the king of swords comes in so it's really a week with a lot of people that is happening the outcomes is the page of Pentacles the outcomes is the page of Pentacles so um, it's all about money it's all about a situation it's all, all about money and a situation that is transpiring in your life whatever the situation is um, there or some energies that is coming out for you Leo's you Leo's um, between the ages of 25 and 45 have to deal with this uh, um, King of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles okay whoever this King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles is you really have to deal with them there are some conflicts with you and this King of Pentacles this person could be your father it could be a business partner it could be someone who you have an arrangement with it could be um, your father-in-law um, it could be a brother or it could be someone who is your business partner and you really have to find in a balance because the energy of temperance is here whenever this major or corner comes up is that um, whatever is transpiring hmm. now some of you are going to be um, dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man over the age of 45 and older some of you are going to have some regrets because there's a huge conflicts with this person okay there is a huge conflicts with this person and some of you have some regrets then we have the energy of the five of ones conflicts with the king of swords also whoever this person is he is uh, um he is an aquarius gemini or libra and you really need to find in a balance in your world in this week so let's see what's happening with the knight of wands and the king of pentacles um, this is a situation in an organization the knight of wands and the king of pentacles is a situation in an organization okay and you have to deal with these people um, let's see what else is coming out it has to do with money so some of you were promised some money and it's not paid out and you're really because see it has something to do with business it had something to do with business what has happened but you're going to have a strong foundation you're really going to have a strong foundation against this conflicts that is happening a really really stable foundation is going to be coming in with this conflicts that is happening um, you are going to be coming out of this conflicts because it's all about some regrets you regret something you have the energy of the Queen of Swords. Some of you have this Queen of Swords coming at you. Um, that is an um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, and you have some regrets. Whoever this person is, um, she tried to affect 
the financial stability of um, your financial stability whoever she is um, you have some regret either knowing her or either communicating with her and if you had a relationship with her you really 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 have some um, whatever it is it's coming to an end because the energy of the tower is here the energy of the tower is here is as if these people try to take you um, for more um, it's as if they lied to you about something and they try to take you for more and it's as if an organization come in and sell what has transpired now the Queen of Pentacles is here on Friday and she um, she is going to be um, standing up against the queen the, pr the princess of swords which is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra she's really gonna stand up against this person because she's gonna say hell no you're not hell no okay um, there's a block so you guys um, you guys um, the king of Pentacles tried to block you guys okay so it's as if for some of you um, try to have a, a connection in an organization and uh, um, this king of Pentacles block you guys but this block is coming to an end whoever he is this has been broken okay and this is good because whoever this person is he he is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and um, also a thief <laughs> I'm sorry but it's true yep oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay so an organization try um, in the past or uh, in the future try to take you for something now whatever the situation is uh, they try to take you for everything that you have and whoever this king of Pentacles is this person um, is either um, as um, a shaman or this person works uh, in an organization but it could be a shaman that is working on a negative energy because the Pope has to do with shamans and that sort of a people people who work magic and that sort of a people and whatever is transpiring um, is as if um, he, this person blocked your financial stability or block the movement of your life flowing and obviously it has to do with a friend of yours or your mom it could be a friend of yours that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this lady and it's coming to an end here it's coming to an end um, this man is not very honest be careful how you deal with this man just for everyone um, Taurus Virgo this man is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whoever this person is there's a lot of conflicts around him and money and there's some deception and this deception this man has been very deceptive it could be you um, but I'm seeing the positive side to you it could be that you have used this man this man is in an organization you have used this man or you had some connection with this man this man hasn't been honest and um, now it's coming to an end because the tower is here it's as if this man was taken from you now as you see the lineup is this this is the energy of a block but it was a block this man it's as if your mother black block your father or as a, a business partner block um, or a, a friend of yours and now it has lifted it it's as if someone call you about a friend of yours or um, your partner your wife and um, is an ex-partner whoever this person is trust me he has to do something with church or he has to do something he has something to do with church or he's a shaman and <laughs> he's a rat he's a thief he's a liar 
um, there's so many deception it's the first I've ever received a reading and some of you have been dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra girl now uh, whatever she was trying to do that's all coming to an end it's all coming to an end your financial situation is going to be better okay the rat the deception okay you're trying to keep balance but you have a strong foundation okay but all of this was going on is as if whoever um, I, you know if this is a good friend or this is your mom or this is um, um, an ex mother-in-law it could be and this is an ex a father-in-law or this is a brother or whoever this person is they're in a church or organization okay the Pope um, so if it's not a pastor is someone in a church that was using that sort of an energy to block but it's coming to an end because um, he has done some um, injustice thing and now they are all being removed from you so you're going to be okay get rid of this lady some of you are dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, if it's your ex-wife or so she was working with her parents to block your life she was working with your her, your, her parents to block your life but th this is going to be ending mm -hmm. this is going to be ending it's not really a positive week for you guys I can't say it has it, it, this is just weird this is a positive energy that comes in though because this is the energy of temperance that your guides and angels are helping you in this week you have a strong foundation not to worry your guides and angels are helping you in this week okay your financial stability is going to be coming good as you see all of these negative energies all negative makes positive okay so whatever that you were blocked with is coming to an end a swift end and an end to the blocks but also an end to people deceptive people um, things that was uh, taking your energy you're breaking this down and you can see that you're standing up for yourself with the energy of your angels and guides you're standing up for yourself you're saying hell no this is happening energy of the tower you're holding on to what you have um this is really really a week look guys um, and your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true okay someone is going to be helping you to release all of these blocks and your wishes and dreams are going to be coming through let's see what else we have for you Leo's Wow I've never seen a week like this but it's good I, okay you people won't understand what I say it's good it's because all the negative cards is basically in reverse and as you see um, the help that is coming in and where it's coming from is going to be um, a good okay so let's see what's coming out for the Leo's you're going back to your tribe you're going to be connecting with your own tribe and your own people and this is good you're going back to your tribe you're going to be connecting with your own tribe and your own people and that is good ladies and gentlemen I want to say to each and every person thank you um, for being here and share this video. Namaste until next time.